Mike Tyson is not happy with Disney, and he is letting them know it, and he is letting them know it in a brutal way. He is a legend. He's one of the greatest of all time and one of the scariest people on the planet back in the 80s and 90s. Holy crap, Tyson was a badass. And here he says, Disney-owned Hulu stole my life story. I'm just a you-know-what they can sell on the auction block. Savage and brutal as he always is. And if any company deserves to be treated like this, it's Disney. For all of their virtue signaling and all of their nonsense and all of their diversity, inclusion, and representation nonsense that we know they don't care about. But here we are with Mike Tyson now, and he's telling it like it is. Boxing legend Mike Tyson has come out swinging, accusing the streaming service Hulu of being slave masters and claiming the company stole his life story for a series about his life without paying him or consulting him to ensure accuracy. Tyson posted the accusation on Instagram, attacking Hulu's upcoming limited series about the boxer's life. So... It's funny because even if it's a real life thing or if it's a fantasy world, Disney doesn't really care about being honest or accurate with what they're representing. They care about telling their narrative and their agenda. We've seen that time and time again. And now Mike Tyson is holding them accountable for it. Um, the heavyweight champ says Hulu stole my life story in a post that he captioned, Hulu is the streaming version of a slave master. Tyson added... Don't let Hulu fool you. I don't support their story about my life. It's not 1822. It's 2022. They stole my life story and didn't pay me. To Hulu executives, I'm just a you-know-what they can sell off at an auction. And there is his uh, saying that to his 19 million followers over on Instagram. Uh, Tyson also lashed out at Hulu on Twitter with tweets blasting the streamer for being greedy and ins uh, insisting uh, that heads will roll over the theft of his life story. So he's not playing. He, he's, he ain't playing at all. As a matter of fact, it's funny because this, these ads are showing up for 221B Tactical, and uh, we actually have some stuff going on with them. And Suresh, who is uh, the owner of 221B, he actually was hanging out with Mike Tyson in Vegas. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So right here, here he's got it tweeting it out. More stuff right here. Uh, the boxer has been slamming Hulu over the series since it was announced in February of 2021. The Hollywood Reporter noted that Tyson was seen referencing it uh, and since a deleted Instagram post of tone-deaf cultural misappropriation, the paper noted. Since uh, Tyson joined a scripted TV project about his life uh, by actor-producer Jamie Foxx and director Antoine Fuqua. Antoine Fuqua is such a great director, by the way. Um... The producers of the Hulu series defended their project, saying that the series makes no moral judgments about Tyson and just presents his life as a straight story. We just wanted to tell an unbiased story and have the audience decide what they think or feel. So you don't want to ask the guy that it's literally about? What type of nonsense is that? Why would you not want to ask the guy who it's about? It's, it's insane. A company that continues the virtue signal wants to, wants to sit there and do this. Uh, the heavyweight champ, uh, let's see, broached the topic on his podcast, uh, so you can hear his full thoughts on his podcast. So that's just good stuff, man. That is really good stuff. Uh, as far as 221B, if you want to go over to there, this is the RK Outpost one, but this is part of the Geeks and Gamers package right here. So if you click this, um, I'll leave a link in the pinned post, but this is the Geeks and Gamers Rebel Pack. Um, so this is the bag uh, that 221B has. It's a really, really good and durable bag. Very good. But uh, you also have these uh, the Geeks and Gamers pin, or the patches, RK Outpost patch, Welcome to Rebellion patch. You get a free patch with purchase, or you can purchase them individually. And we're going to be doing a lot more with 221B. So please, Go support them. And what I mean by more with them, we're going to be giving you good, actual, consistent quality products, merchandise, T-shirts, hoodies, hats, literally whatever you want. And that's going to be your one-stop shop for Geeks and Gamers merchandise. I'm excited about this. They are an awesome company. And uh, it's not something that they really do. This is actually something like they do have tactical gear and things like that. But this is a project that they're doing for us because they love what we're doing and they want it to be part of it. So this is a, a really good, you know, connection for us. And I hope you guys will go support them. You've seen Jay wearing these bags right here, the stuffable day pack. Um, there's a lot of good products over there, but I'm really excited for this. So thank you guys. I appreciate all of your support. Have a great day.
and we will talk to you later.